I'm at XYZ Machine Tools in Nuneaton. Now we've already done a, uh, a piece for social media this morning on our um, on our social media accounts about this robo tend and the launch here. Uh, this is going to be quite interesting because what I'm going to do is get inside of this uh, robo tend solution and show you around it and show you what I've learned today. So basically, well, the first thing is that this is a portable automation solution. So you see, you've got wheels on here, and you can move this from one machine to another and I'm told, reliably told, it takes less than half an hour to move it and set it. Now if we go into the uh, RoboTenor, I'm just going to open the door here. How it works in, uh, in principle is that we have a, a, a set of drawers here. Now on this particular model we've actually got four drawers. Now when you open a drawer you'll see here we've got billets. Now these are 100 millimetres by 100 millimetres and I think they're about 14 millimeters in thickness. Now on each, call it a pile here, we've got five billets. Now what's interesting about this is you think, well, okay, so it picks up the billet, puts it in the machine, takes it out of the machine, puts it onto the turnover station, turns it over, then back into the machine to do both or the second operation. But in terms of setting, what you do is, I'll show you in a minute on the control, but it's dead simple. You're just programming the size of the part and then it will tell you where to move these pins around on this call it grid plate here and wherever you move the pins to where you're told to move them to by the control is then where you'll obviously put your billets. Now the great thing about the robot is it opens and closes the drawer, it picks the billet up and then if you went, then wanted to have uh, round parts you can see here you just change the positions of the pins and then it will accommodate the round components and then in the third drawer here we then have some bigger billets so you can see the modularity of it and what's interesting here if you see these points here that's where the cal calibration's done using the vision system so I'm going to shut that drawer there and then I'm going to talk to you about the robot now this is actually where uh, this is the vision system so this will uh, identify those uh, targets shall we say and and then just here behind it this is actually the measurement area so this will give you the the, the indication of the, the, the sizes and so forth so both of those together are working in collaboration to get you your positioning now into the machine, you then obviously have got to set the positions of the vices, and this will uh, the, the 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 system knows where the corner of a uh, machine table is, and from there that's its datum point, and from there you then roughly identify where the vice is in your control, and then the vision system will do the rest. So it essentially it knows where the vices are, it picks the parts up. Uh, fully CE compliant so you can get in here and of course the robot's not going to move, there's not going to be any health and safety issues. Uh, another point I wanted to show you is round the side here and it, it, this just shows you how compact it is as well actually from this side. You can see you're, you know, the, the depth of it doesn't look like it's much more than over a metre but these drawers are bi-directional. So now the drawer we opened at the top, the other side you can now see here uh, opens the other way. So what does this do? Well it means that while the machine is running and the door is shut and the robot is in operation, you can actually be uh, refilling the drawer system. For me, one of the biggest drawbacks of a vertical machining center is the fact that the operator needs to be in there and that spindle stops. The spindle stops to load the parts, to turn the parts over. With this system, it, you, don't, you don't have to do that. It does it all for you. And just to finally quickly show you what I mentioned earlier, uh, if I click on draw system here, this is how easy this control is. When I click on this, I can essentially click on another uh, draw two. I can tell it the billet data, 100 mil by 100 mil in the X and Y, 30 mil height, the weight, whether it's a square or round component. And this is where, this is how simple this system is. This is where it will then tell you where to position the pins in order to accommodate the parts. You've obviously then got your gripper set up. Uh, and then you have, as I mentioned earlier as well, your vice set up. So you've got two vices here in this machine that are active and the vision system will give you the final positioning so it knows where the vices are. I tell you what, this has to be one of the easiest automation solutions I've come across. And the fact that I can take it from this machine across to another machine in less than half an hour just says to me that I, you know, it appears to be a complete no-brainer. The pricing on this as well is around about £70,000. But it depends, of course, on how you configure it, how many drawers you want. Uh, but that just gives you an indication of what you can automate your machine for. Uh, it's the XYZ Machine Tools RoboTend solutions. Uh, and you can see it here in Nuneaton. 
or in Devon or in fact in Manchester.